What's going on, everybody? We're back outside. Hey, so real quick announcement. I'm not doing any smoking tonight. Um, I took an edible. And um, an edible bull. A double bull. Uh, because I got this chest thing happening and wasn't feeling super great this weekend. So we're going to tap out of the smoky smoke and just hit the edible and a little mushroom cap and... We're already feeling pretty happy. I don't know what's going to happen, though. It seems like I'm starting out with sunglasses and... Sorry. Sunglasses and twinkle lights behind me. That seems pretty great. Hey, Margaret, let me make sure this is scrolling. Well, that's the only one I got. All right. Hey, Margaret, how are you? But so we got some fun things tonight. We'll see what happens, everybody. You know, I think it's going to be fun. I haven't done one without... What's going on, Lee? Hey, Kylie. I haven't done without smoking in a long time, so what's up, Keith? But between the edible and the mushrooms, we should be fine. When nobody's getting cheated. But it won't be. Was hey, 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 John Sutton, man. What show did you come to this weekend, dude? Did you hear me ask if you were in the crowd last night? Or was it last night? Two nights ago? I forget which night. But uh, <clears throat> this is the first weekend I haven't done meet and greets in a long time, everybody. I just wasn't feeling great, so. Hey, Dana. Hey, Deborah. Well, that was weird. Um, I'm Michael Claxton. What's going on? And so we're ready to get rolling today. Hey, guys. If you haven't been tuning in to, by the way, the Control Chaos, if you watched it a long time ago at one of the older studios where the show was still great, but the audio might have been fucked up or we didn't have any production, Now's the time to come back. It's a ton of fun. So tonight, everybody, check it out. We're going to draw some more people. We are going to read a little more from Walter the Farting Dog because people were telling me they missed it. Play a little guitar. And then who the fuck knows what else has happened. All I can tell you right now, it with 100% certainty, is the edible is creeping. And the mushrooms are too. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. Let's see what happens. First of all, I had a great time this weekend in Arlington, Virginia. Let me tell you something about the Arlington, Virginia, the draft house there. Good time. Oh, man, those, spray, those lights look amazing. Yeah, that's the kind of high I'm going to be tonight. Just smiles and compliments. Oh, my God, that looks amazing. So the Arlington draft house, man, I love going to this place. But it truly is a oh, like a movie theater. But instead of movies, they have like just old chairs from Office Depot. It's crazy. But they're all like old office chairs. It's pretty fucking dope. And the stage is big and it looks nice. I was there for Valentine's Day and Beth was there with me. We went outside maybe twice, but it was cold as fuck. Good Lord. It was so cold in D.C. I couldn't believe it. How cold it was. One time... Um, what is up, my friend? What's going on, David? What did you say about one time? On time for the first time. What's going on, Amy? How are you? I'm pretty sure Josh... Oh, I'm high. But I'm a different kind of high. Like, I'm not spacey high. I'm awake high. I'm curious high. I'm, hey, I'm not going to stop talking the entire night to high. What's going on, Becky? Um, when I'm making a tour of Indiana. When somebody books me there, you know what I'm saying? Bang, bang. I have a lot of, uh, you know, what I realize I've been neglecting recently because there's only one of them, you know, is this dude. Ooh, man. You guys never seen anybody punch that fast, have you? You just, you just get hit like 150 times. You get Phenomenal. What does that say? Derek, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Super cool. Hey, everybody, remember I'm filming my special in Spokane, Washington at the end of March. Why Spokane? Because I want to do it at a comedy club. Why at a comedy club? Because that's when I feel like I'm at my best. I could have rented out a theater, but I would rather do it at a comedy club. And I'd also do it, rather do it at a comedy club where nobody's seen the material in the last year. I'm trying to talk as fast as I can, and I don't know why. How'd I do? But Spokane, come on, come with it. It's going to be a ton of fun. How about Myrtle Beach? How about it? I've been there. I like that boardwalk. It's got some weird shit on there. They got those big, like, alien-looking koi goldfish 
I think they got arms and legs and like real teeth and shit, but people feed them. You know what I mean? Yeah, Myrtle Beach. Uh, oh, thank you. What does that say? Victoria, thank you so much. I appreciate that. The light's so bad out there. Oh, yeah, the lights are beautiful, but I'm super high. What's going on from Tulsa? Uh, do I come to Bloomington, in Indiana? I'm going to be... Oh, I keep popping this. That's what, that's what you keep hearing. I'm going to be in... Um... Not Bloomington. Uh, Indianapolis later this year. Oh, I'm zinging like crazy. The the combination of the edible and a little bit of mushroom has got me so filled with energy. I can't even tell you. Sitting here right now is about the toughest thing I've ever had to do. Sitting still and just... It scared me twice already. What is that fucking Jurassic Park? Yeah, that hat scared me twice already. I'm not getting scared three times by fucking hat. You know what I'm saying? Once, yeah, that's funny. Second time, like, hey man, you should have moved that fucking hat the first time. You know what the deal is. But I'm not letting a, an inanimate object, if, an, if the same inanimate object scares you three times, you're dumb as fuck. Man, move it. Or realize that it's there. Wow. Although I can't say that's true. Right? Look at me clutching my purse. I can't say that's true. I've probably been scared by the same inanimate object three times. Uh, uh. We have something in our house. I hang my jacket on sometimes. And sometimes I come in and best sleeping because it's late. And I've been at the comedy store or whatever. And uh, it scared me probably 27 times. Not, I mean, that didn't scare me on the outside. But my inside. My asshole took a deep breath. It was like, what is that? You know what I mean? Woo. Um, make sure you guys can hear me. You having fun, Mike? I, I appreciate that. Um, that's all I do is get sidetracked. But let's play a game. When am I coming to Boston again, man? I don't know. It's a great question. As I say, Atlanta, you're putting together a comedy show? Okay. Hello, Sherry from Wisconsin. I almost filmed the special there. It was between Spokane, Washington, and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Wisconsin? Is that right? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You know what? Sometimes when things go together, whether you say them one time, you're like, does that go together? That's what just happened. That's like some words if you say them, like Humvee. But if I say Humvee a couple times, I'm like, that's not a fucking word. Humvee? Humvee. Humvee. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's got one of those words. Finally got around to watching Forever My Girl. 10 out of 10. Thank you, Heather. That's my wife's movie, everybody, if you haven't seen it. Andrea, just happy to be here with you tonight. Thank you so much. Coming to Mohegan in two weeks. Come get some, Caitlin. It's going to be a good time. Guys, hey, this upcoming Miami, and then I go from Miami to fucking uh, Mohegan Sun, and then I go to Ontario, maybe, in Canada. Uh, Calgary in Canada thank you very much Jake I appreciate that I go to Calgary and then I go some oh Boise what's up Boise and then I go to Vancouver Washington and then I hit the special so every place I'm going in, the, in March I'm running my special so if you guys want to come see it come check it out you know who else doesn't get enough running here and I hope I didn't lose him because he's maybe my favorite guy in here yeah what? He's perfect for tonight. Because I'm full of pew energy. <sighs> oh, he'll work you. When am I coming to New Zealand, man? April. Uh, is that right? Australia in April. New Zealand first weekend. Either last weekend in April or first weekend in May. Pickle. Ooh. That's your hometown. Fickle. Cleveland in May. You know it, Deborah. What's going on, St. Louis? Oh, I mean, when it when I do it right, whoa. Not there. Hold on. Where is it? That, that kind of looks like a leg. Not really. Hoot. Hi. Ho, ho. Uh, but yeah. Let's let's play a game. It's probably the right time. 
and I am the right amount of high, and the right kind of high. Wait, let's read from that fucking book first. This motherfucker, Walter. All right, everybody, so, and I'm going to need different glasses for this. I'm going to need glasses that I can actually see out of. Oh, hey, we are outside, so I do want to make my, um, you know, every time we come outside, I like to call. I just hit the Bigfoot caller one time. See if any Bigfoot or... I'll try again. Hold on. It's just so ridiculous that this person thought that this is what a Bigfoot sounds like. God, this is embarrassing for whoever made it. You should be ashamed. But what do I know? Maybe that is what... Who the fuck knows? You know why nobody knows? Because they're not real. So you, whatever you want the Bigfoot to sound like, that's what it sounds like. If you... If you think a 12-foot head-to-toe muscle covered in hair on top of hair on top of hair with fur, right? Dripping testosterone out of their mouths. Crazy Agile runs at top speed of like 42. What? Just a thunderous thing coming out of the fucking woods to terrorize you. And then... <laughs> sure. Hey, maybe that... I've said this before. Maybe that's why they're not that scary, you know? Maybe they're so ashamed of their... <laughs> that they're like, God damn. Well, we can't go out there sounding like this. How... <laughs> how, how embarrassing for us. So yeah, that's what it is. All right, let's get to some Walter the Fart Dog, shall we? Okay, oh, these shades bring back. All right, here we go. This is the original, everybody. Walter the Farting Dog. And this is where we left him last time. That's right. He's been adopted. I don't want to go over the whole book again. Um, just so you know, he's been, he's adopted. Because nobody, they couldn't figure out why nobody would keep him at their house. Um, obviously, they don't do, like, interviews after the dog gets turned back in. Like, hey, can we ask you this? I'm sorry, this is the 10th time somebody's brought him back. Can we just ask you what the deal is? Because people seem so eager to take him and they fucking... Just ask one person. They're going to be like, oh, my God, he farts so much. And you're at the kennel. How do you not fucking know? How is this a surprise to anybody? That's been around this motherfucker, Walter, for more than 37 seconds. All right, here we go. But I love him, man. He loves his family. We saw that Walter band from the beach. He sprung into action, man. He, he farted and split the ocean like Moses. Yeah, I don't have that other book, man. But this is the OG. This is the original story. That one was Walter band from the beach. If you missed that action, that was whoo, action-packed. The police were involved. The police came to his house and were like, hey, Walter, you're not allowed outside anymore, dude. You fart so much that you, mm, on the outside, you're going to have to sit in here and sting up these people's house and kill that cat because you're all trapped in here. Walter fuck, couldn't take that. Uh-uh. And he thought that he heard his people in trouble. And he... I don't remember if he farted himself through the through the screen, but I think he did. I think he was looking at the screen, he farted, and I think it propelled him through the screen. Because then he ran down to the beach and he tried to get in there because his his the the owner the, the the boy and the girl were drowning. They were out there with the fucking spankies. What do they call them? The spookies, spunkies, scrabbies, scabbies, babbies. I don't fucking remember what the bad people's name is, but you know what? They were out there with them. And Walter went out there and just tried to swim, but couldn't do it, couldn't do it, couldn't do it. And then he just laid down in the fucking ocean, and he laid down right on the sand, and he just, not on purpose, he just let out this fart that split the ocean. It Crabbies, that's their fucking names. Shot the Crabbies up into outer space. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Split the ocean. The two kids came running out fine. Saved the day. They were dry. It was amazing. 
So this is the OG story. This is where we he saved the day with his farts. This dude's a hero, you know? So I thought, you know, when you hear about a hero, what you should do is learn the backstory. You know? So that's what we're doing. Yeah, so... Now, I don't need to go through it. You know, he farted in the bath, and then they find out that he farts wherever he is. And then the da- dad, who's a fucking giant, I guess. I always can't believe how big they drew this dude compared to this door and the other people. It's either the smallest door or the biggest fucking guy ever. No wonder that dog's farting so much and scared. Is he... Is the, is is Walter's fart making that basketball levitate? Is that what's happening right now? Is that is that what am I looking at that right? Huh. Anyway, you must have missed that. But yeah, the dad is like, hey, this dog farts a fucking lot. What's the deal? Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. And then this dude got blasted in the fucking eye. BAM! And his eye is a different color. <laughs> oh, they fucked him up in this cartoon. His eye is a different color. And now we're here and we find out. See, the guy was saying, hey, it's, your di- it's the diet. He's not eating the right diet. And so what they found out that he, Walt basically farts no matter fucking what. All right, and I think that's where we left him. He's, he's farting... When he's eating the cat food, he's farting when he's eating a burger and fries. No shit. He's farting when he's eating a, can- a corn cob, and he's farting when he's eating a carrot. He farts. So you know how the game goes, the book goes. We look at the picture first together, and then I try to figure out what's happening in the picture, and then I'll read that part to you. So his dad looks way smaller. Is that his dad? Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is this guy? And why is Walter wearing a, his tail's wagon? He's psyched. Look at that tail go. But what's with the top hat? What's the dude? I don't, I have no idea. Well, let's take a look at him. That can't be the dad. The dad was a giant human. This is not the same person. It's not even the same species. But that can't be the dad. So maybe they're going for a dog walk. Why would they just get the dog? Why would they hire a dog walker, those lazy fucks? That's not what that is. What is going on there? I'm so... Anything to do with those huge-ass feet? Good God. What is he doing with those fucking things? No wonder that cat looks worried like, Hey, that dog. What's he doing? What's he got in his mouth? A carrot and a top hat and he's wagging his tail. I have no fucking idea what's happening. Walter got the blame for everybody else's farts. Oh! This dude is blasting him one right in the fucking grill. Why is he wearing a top hat, though? What the... Like, that seems like a double fucking... He's getting farted, and he had to wear a top hat, like, and chew on a carrot. What is what's that? What's going on with his undercarriage? Why is it so dark? I don't know. I mean, Walter get the blame for everybody else's farts too. If Uncle Irv, I'm gonna tell you something right now. This guy should not be named Uncle Irv. He this. It, does he look like an Uncle Irv to you? This is the... Come on, man. That's not Uncle Irv. If I showed you my family tree, I'm sure we've got a couple of Uncle Irvs in there. This dude is not named Uncle Irv. I'd like some better... I'd like some better options, please. Classy. That dog, I mean, the dog is classy as you know what. Here's the thing, guys. You know how, why it takes us so long to read this book? We're not even into the first page yet. There's so much discussion. All right. If Uncle Irv let one slip, he just went and stood near Walter. Yeah, man. 
Then all you to say was, Walter, and everyone would look at poor Walter. Well, they should be looking at him because he's wearing that stupid fucking hat. Why is he going to wear that hat, man? What are you doing that to Walter for? Why? Hey, illustrators, why does he... I get why he's going to get the fart in the face. Hey, man, that's what happens. You can't be an incel comic and not expect a couple jokes back at you. So you can't fart on people all day and not expect someone to be like, you know what? Get that little motherfucker over here. I'm going to fart right on his head. You can't... That's going to happen to you. So I, I don't... I, I don't feel bad for you, but why are you wearing the hat? What? Why did the illustrator also have to do... Is the illustrator also mad at Walter for farting? Because why else would he put him in that fucking hat? And can we make a decision on Uncle Irv? This guy's name is Uncle Irv? What? Uncle Irv looks like a mess. Yeah. His purple plaid slacks on point. Yeah, they, I guess they're on point, man. By the way, guys, I know I'm reading like I've never read before. I can... I can barely see right now. You know what? I smoke myself blind. Um, I'm doing well, Kate. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. Let me get through this page. Oh, we're through it. Should we do one more? That seemed like a lot. Let's do one more. Here we go. But I want to say hi to you guys for a second. I love the show in Minneapolis there two times, Thursday and Saturday. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate it, man. I always try to make them, you know, just a little bit different. So you can always come see a couple of shows. My Friday night show this week it was a whole, outside of the song that I'm working on, was a whole different hour from the early one. Oh, thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. What's up, Adam? I just want to say hi to you guys for a second. Good evening. Arthur to you, too. Hey, Amanda. I mean, we're here together, so I, I would like to say hello to the people that I'm here with. Sitting here with my son. You used to read Walter to him? He's 17 now. Who is super funny. I'll read one more page for you guys. What's up, Bambi? Uncle Herb looks like he ate... Yeah, man. You got it. I love doing the Mondays. Thank you. Yeah, buddy. You know what I'm saying, Nate. What's going on? Hey, Deborah. Yeah, the intermission from page to page. Hey, Tracy. You loved it. I was in pink in the front row. Oh, Jeremy, I remember you. Hey. What, Joshua? Um, I and I are both named Josh. Yeah, that is a coincidence, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... I like being this. This is a this is a fun high for me right now, so I'm into it. Well, let's do another page. You know when something is supposed to like snap, and it was supposed to be cool. Let's do another page, and it went and then it just went back down to the same page. I did it happen twice. Let's do another page. There we go. All right, let's take a look at the picture. All right, well. Walter is farting at the light fixture. I'm gonna have to take a look. I'm s Walter is laying. We'll do it together here. All right. Walter's laying down, and he's farting up into the light fixture. It looks like. Not sure what the deal is with that. These two kids are either reading or dead. I can't tell. I'm not sure if the gas has fallen yet, or are they impervious to it? You know something? Yeah, not you know what? Kids, honestly, I think I said this last week. They don't care. The reason this is 100% realistic, because if that was a grown-up in that room, they would be like, "Get that fucking dog out of here!" Oh my god! Or kick the dog outside, or they just make the dog, you know? Kids are just like, that's gross. <laughs> that's gross. Oh, it smells so bad. But they never, like if you were an eight-year-old kid, especially a boy, and you're just laying down on a couch next to your buddy who's farting the worst farts in the world, you're not even going to move further away. You're just going to be like, that's gross. <laughs> and you, that's it. But you'll just keep watching whatever the fuck you're doing, whatever the fuck you're doing. You're playing vids or whatever. It's not going to change the, nobody's moving. 
Is that Jeff? I gotta tell you something, guys. The colors mixed with the right amount of high that I am right now is so fantastic. This is why I like this shot. Because I can see all that shit. Alright. So it just looks like he's farting at the lights. Right? And then this this child could be dead. This one looks like Def, definitely up on his or her elbows, but this child is face down with a cat on its back, which I don't think is healthy. That is a human child, right? Okay. All right. Sorry. Let's read it. Last page. And I'm glad you and your son, who uh, used to read it together, Reading it, right? Watching me read it now. Maybe the dog's farts don't smell as bad as his humans. That's not impossible. I was kidding, by the way. About what? Leanne, about what? I was kidding about what? He has to go back to the. Oh, shit! He has to go back to the pound, said father. Yeah, now now that now everyone's like, oh yeah, that, this is why. But you, you know what, man, that's, that's on you. You gotta figure something out. Actually, I, I can't say that. I don't know if that, I mean, what's happening here? He's ruining their quality of life. I can't. If you want pay for something to happen to the intestines and, you know, may put an anti-fart button on the inside. Is that what they do nowadays? I think that's what they do. They just, they, they put that not fart button inside. It's pretty simple. I read a lot of books and um, that's how medicine works. Um, if you need something done, they cut you open, they put a button in there and it's either a yes or a no button. And then that's it. I mean, I know a lot of you guys paid a lot of money to go to like med school. So. But that I think that's pretty much what happens. You just boo a butter rooney, and it's either a yes or a no, and that's it. So you're welcome. Um, and that's what I would do if someone wanted to pay for him to get the the no fart button, or maybe a stronger asshole. But, but look, if you're farting with that type of power, even if you have a stronger asshole, it's gonna come out of somewhere. Wouldn't that be weird if he clenched it in his asshole so much it started coming out like his fingernails? Like, you don't want that. You don't want it up here all the time. At least it's, you know. No, you'd have to pay for it. I can't have this happening in my house. Look at that shit. It looks like a fucking fire extinguisher. He has to go back to the pound, said father. No, daddy, please beg Betty and Billy. First of all, beg Betty and Billy. This is now not a coincidence that this dude... Or a woman. D two dudes. Is doing that on purpose. Beg Betty and Billy. Biddy and Billy and Betty and Billy. And building and begged and Billy and Betty. Really? Do I? Man, you know that I'm not dealing with all my facilities right now. You can't have me beg Billy and Betty. What is it? Beg Betty and Billy? Yeah, I can't. Beg Billy and Betty. Big Betty and Billy. They're both pretty bad. All right. But I don't blame them. That's their dog, even though they've only had that farting, I guess, for like two days. Don't send Walter away. He goes tomorrow, said father. They pleaded, Walter farted. <laughs> Walter, this is what I'm saying, man. Even for those of us who are starting to feel bad for you. The dude's standing right there. The girls are pleading. You know, the girl and boy, Betty and Billy, are are bleeding and pleading your case. And what do you do? You just you fart the literal light bulb out of the ceiling. I mean, what's a man to do? It's his house. And every time he comes in and tries to give you a break, or will at least listen to an argument, you're farting the fucking light bulb out. Uh, I'm with this dude. I'm so sorry, everybody. At this point, at this point, at the beginning of the story, look, I know Walter the hero, everyone. We've read book two. Oh, banned from the beach. 
whatever. He saved their lives. This dude's a hero. So this is this doesn't besmudge, besmidge, smudge, besmidge. Whatever. You know what I mean? Walter still is the goat ski. But at this point in the story, if I'm being honest, gotta go. Back to the pound. You are not adding anything into the family. You are taking things away. Like joy. You gotta go. Walter farted? Yeah. That would be it, man. We're all feeling it. The kid's crying. And well, you knocked the light out of the fucking socket. You savage. Yeah, this dude doesn't give a fuck. Or he just can't hold it in. The poor guy. It was all over. That night, Betty and Billy cried, at least in their beds, and Walter looked at them unhappily. Oh, Walter, said Betty, you've got to stop farting. Well, now she... Now? Now? I mean, maybe this page over here. You know, well... Or up here a little bit when the dad was saying he's got to go. And then you could be like, hey, let's talk to this little dude about not farting. But now are you telling me you're going to? Because father is going to send you back to the pound tomorrow, said Billy. Hey, listen. Both these books have gotten heavy. That first book, there was a spot where you were like, poor fucking Walter, what's gonna happen? He's been banned inside the house. Guys, I'll have to put this down. The heart rate's going a little bit, you know? But uh, let's draw a picture. How you feel about that? Let's see what happens if you draw a picture. All right. You know what would be really funny? Hold on one second. Take the piss out of this fucking guy. Hold on one second. Yeah. Take the fucking piss out of this dude. Oh, he's gonna hate this. He he. Just want your cookies. Just want the fucking cookies. And that's what I've been doing. I've been having so much fun. I've been having so much fun. I've been having so much fun. Not talking to anybody. Just going out and getting those fucking cookies. Ah, but here I am with you. Once again, for God knows what reason, but why did he put me in this hat? Mm. That was not nice. But what's even not nicer is having to talk to you. So let's pretend like I'm enjoying myself. What I'd rather be doing right now is I'd rather just be out there right now just getting your buggy cookies. Cookies. That's where I'm going right now, so just leave them on the counter for me, alright? Dumb. 
don't make me come looking for those cookies. Oh, he hated this hat. How much did he hate it? Oh, you... Some of you guys have never seen the Cookie Man before? Oh, boy. Yeah, he hasn't been around in probably, I would say, two months. But the Cookie Man, he's no joke, man. He's really got a very one-track mind. And that one-track mind is he, I, and listen, I don't like him. He's negative. Ooh. Ugh. Well, he wants those cookies, bro. Don't. Don't think he doesn't want those cookies. He's coming for them. Yeah, he's an asshole. I, I, he's an asshole. That guy's such a dick. I didn't say it this time, though, Dave. <laughs> Look at my hair right now. How crazy it is. Good Lord. Look at that craziness. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. That's why I had everybody. That hair goes... Oh, those lights look pretty cool sometimes. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's draw a picture. And then let's get everybody out of here. Because I think... Beth. Hey, man. Hey, Kyle. What time is it? Oh, yeah, we're only going to go for like seven or eight more minutes. I'm going to go hang with Beth. We're going to watch The Bachelor. Oh, I can't wait to watch this fucking... This fucking guy. What a pussy. I mean, it's hard for you to take me seriously in this hat and these glasses. Good. It sh Wait a second. Oh, wait a second. That should probably make it worse. Let's try. Oh, I don't even have the worst ones, do I? Well, this seems like it might be pretty bad, though. Yeah, okay. Mm. Nah. Mm. Like that. All right. Tonight we draw. Last week, my Mario Lopez, which is inside, was... I mean, guys, you don't have to tell me how good it was. I know how good it was. That was the best. I I really ought to post it and at him and thank him for the uh, inspiration because that was one of my, uh, actually was one of my worst of all time. I apologize. I apologize. Okay, here we go. This is going to be the real deal. You know what? You know what I just realized is really wrong with my heads. I really make them bottom heavy. You know what I mean? That's a that's a heavy head. So okay, there we go. I'm gonna do it a little different late tonight. Maybe that'll help. Okay. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you the sex because I think that'll really help everything out. This is a woman, a woman's head. Now you can understand why this shape isn't exactly the one I was trying to get, but all good. We're gonna work through it, and here we go. I'm doing the eyebrows. 
I'm gonna try to do this tonight. Ready? This is such a thick marker. You're fucked. All right, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to go. I'll tread lightly. Oh yeah. I just need to maybe give it a little more shape. But those look like eyelashes, not an eyebrow, actually. Do they? Does that look like anything except for a squiggly line? Well, that's eyebrow number one. I'm going to try to give the second eyebrow a little more shape. And I also think maybe it was a little too low. No, that looks about right. Who knows? That was our first try at that eyebrow. I really liked it. Kathy Bates? No, it's not Kathy Bates. Hi, Kirsten. Hi, Kirsten. What are you doing? I want that high school hair. Not Roseanne Barr. Okay, let me, let me help her out with a little eyebrow. Hi, Colleen. Hey, Colleen. Hey, Erica. All right, here we go for second eyebrow. Hmm, not any better. Actually, maybe worse. This woman looks very much like a man. <laughs> She's not supposed to. Let me put the glasses back on. I think that's helping, you know. Those are the eyebrows. Shit. Okay. All right, here we go. He yeah, is so funny. It looks exactly like every other eye I've ever drawn. Why do I always draw them that look like that? Why? I am going to try so hard. I don't give a fuck what this eye looks like. I'm not drawing that. All right, here we go. <sighs> yep. You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna draw, hey, are you ready? Okay. Hold on one second. Hey, send me that text again, man. Are you watching? Send me that text again. That same exact thing. I gotta read it. I can't go to it right now because if I go to it, I'm gonna lose this because I'm not gonna figure out how to bring it back. So send me that text right now. No, not Rosie O'Donnell. <coughs> All right. Nah, that's always what I do. When I, that's like what I've graduated to. These are my two eyes. Damn it. Those are the variations of it. That's basically what I draw. This one can go either way with a thin one that side and the thicker on that side. And, or total fucking, you're in a mask. All right. So, this woman is definitely better looking than this. All right, here we go. Let me just read some more of your guesses. It's not Sarah Silverman. And it's not Cher. Come on, guys. You know what the problem is. Let me tell you what the problem is. The problem is where the... I'm wearing the wrong hat. I'm wearing the wrong hat to draw. You know what I'm saying? I can't draw. I can't draw that hat. That's ridiculous. All right. I'm here to save... Okay, we're going to save it up here. We're going to draw her eyebrows. No, I got it right. We're going to draw our eyes. Pretty good. Maybe I should draw like this more. All right, not terrible. Remember, guys, the rule is I can't go back and fix anything. I can just draw what I draw. Okay. Maybe this is my thing. Maybe I'm like a painter like this. But I don't know why I would look back at me because I'm not. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I do like this more. 
Let me close up. Now listen, this I'm not saying this is good or this looks anything like her. But this is a beautiful woman I'm drawing right now. This is the nose is the problem in this game. Because I've set myself up to fail because if I can't take the pen off the paper. It's hard to really do anything good, you know? Not that I could do something good, but I could do something. I think the nose is really where it fucking falls apart. But it really falls apart when I draw the head. I know, I get it, I get it. But you guys know even the difference between this and what's about to happen is drastic. And this is terrible. But here we go. I'm so sorry. I really like you and I think you're a fantastic person. All right, here we go. Ooh, boy. This is where it just, I just needed last week I tried and the, the, the fucking Mario Lopez ended up looking like Bob Hope for a while. You remember that shit? I mean, the nose is really where, okay. This is not, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was trying not to make it pointy, but I think it kind of looks like a dick. <laughs> it does kind of look like a dick. Come on, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, should I finish? Oh, okay. All right, listen. She's a wonderful actress. And a beautiful person. And I don't know if she's a whatever. I'm sure she's a great sister and a great daughter and whatever else she is. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. Here comes... The mouth. Okay. Well, first of all, I want you to know in real life, she doesn't look like Benjamin Franklin. You know what I'm saying? She's beautiful. Okay, here we go. Shit. What am I going to do? I don't think I'm going to do the mouth. I think I'm just going to do the slit. I'm going to... Is that cheating? I'll listen to you guys first. Tell me if that's cheating. Is that cheating just to give the slit? Tell me if it is. Oh, March 20th, I'll be in Vancouver. Yeah, that's right. It's not Rebel Wilson. Draw the mouth. Is that what you're saying? I want to know mouth or slit. You know, the mouth or line. Don't say slit. Mouth or line. Yes, what? Yes, is the what? Oh, do the mouth. All right. Shh. Here comes the mouth. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Nope. Oh, who I mean, this literally could be done, Rickles. It's not Billie Eilish. Come on. But like, who, who, honestly, if you didn't know male, female, what would you, who would you guess that is? Moist. Yeah, don't say slip mouth. Yeah, got the mouth. Got it, got it, guys. Oh my God, look how bad that is. All right, I'm gonna do her. Okay. Yeah, it does kind of look like Owen Wilson. Okay, but it looks like Don Rickles. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, oh, I'm not gonna call it, I'm not. I'm just leaving the mouth open. I'm not doing any of the lip, because that's gonna look real bad. I hope if I can give her hair. Uh, I'll leave it up to me afterwards if I want to do that fucking I think I do okay the hair is also get dicey because 
as you guys know, sometimes, you know, I start out with great intentions, but I just get really tired of filling in the hair, and so I quit. And so most of these people have, and I didn't even shit, I don't know what type of hair this woman has, fuck. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a clue, because the hair, I'm telling you right now, don't judge the hair. Because I don't know. Okay. Yikes. Okay. How we doing? Whoo, boy. Yowza. That is not a pretty picture. Okay. Not Gwyneth Paltrow, I'll tell you that right now. I'm going to give you a clue. Not Rebel Wilson. I'm going to help you out. Well, let me just see some guesses first. Maybe somebody will get it. Maybe I'm not giving myself enough credit. But I think I am. Not Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, that's tough hair. I Guys, I get tired with the hair. It's just too much. Yeah, it's not Oprah. No, it's not Chelsea. You say Charlize? No, it's not Charlize. It's not Bob Hope's sister. It's not Julie Roberts, although I've done Julie Roberts, so I just don't know where she is. Ah, Jessica, thank you. It's not Drew Barrymore. Did we do Drew? Did we Drew Drew? You know what I mean. Sounds like something we did. Not Beyonce. It's not Craig. What hair color? Ah, uh, Sarah Silverman, no. Medusa? How dare you? No. Not Marie Osmond. That's not me, man, but it's closer to me than it is to the woman. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not J-Lo. It's not J-Lo. Yeah, Sarah Jessica Parker. All right, I'm going to give you a clip. Ready? Get ready for the clue. All right, go. Come on. Not Rosie. I just gave you the hint. Look at that. You want me to give you the lips too? Hold on. It's not Demi Moore. Not Sandra Bernhardt. Not Lindsay Lohan. Oh, but the, the good guesses. Mrs. Coburn. I don't know what the fuck that is. No, it's not Miley. Good guess. SNL girl don't know what I mean. Peppermint Patty nailed it, but it's not hair. But I wish it was. Emma Stone is right. Andrea. Emma Stone. Good one. Nailed it. All right. That's awesome. I, I mean, she's pretty. Look at. You tell me that doesn't look like Emma Stone. Maybe, hold on. Oh. You're welcome. Good guess. Andrea, the, Andrea clearly. Um. Clearly, uh, Dave Pierce guessed Emma Stone. When? How long ago? That motherfucker. How long ago? I mean, it doesn't matter. He still doesn't win. It's got Andrew's name on it. I don't. I'm not sending that dude any more stuff. Um. All right, guys. It's time for me to go upstairs. Hang out with my wife. I love you. I'll see you later. Always so fun. I am for you.